Oh my see how. I mean, that I mean. With only a few feet between them, Arison Toure shouts to his sick mother. Nanimia, she is my mother. Mairu, Guame. She can hardly walk. Okay, okay. A small tarp is all that separates him from the deathly infectious Ebola isolation ward here at the Kenema State Hospital in southeastern Sierra Leone. She's my elder sister. His mother and sister are patients inside, and last week he was one too. I'm a lucky man to free from this Ebola. But relax, but relax, you now I'm not feeling any illness in my system. But the rest of his family were not as lucky. All of my family go to the hospital. After they discharge me, he said all of your family has passed away. Sixteen people. It's only my mother and my elder sister are left. This is Ben C. Solomon reporting for the New York Times. As of Thursday, nearly a thousand have died across West Africa as health workers struggle to contain the deadliest Ebola epidemic in history. This government hospital was ill-prepared when patients started arriving months ago. Little has changed. This is dangerous. Because there's no, there's no system. There's no, no isolation. There's, it's not an isolation. You make mistakes here, you get infected. Patients wander the quarters with few preventative measures. A highly contagious corpse of an Ebola victim is carried through a public hall. Outside, a dirty tent acts as the waiting room, where those with common ailments mix with the patients potentially infected with the deadly virus. Somebody with Ebola, you will see them. They look very lethargic, rare eyes, so immediately we escort them so that they will not contaminate those that are not Ebola patients. It's, it's, this, it's this vicious circle. Not enough staff. 35.9. Patients not attended to. No preventive measures. So it's all, all together and people don't come. More than 30 people who live here, for well, now the place is empty. As the outbreak worsened, patients began to flee after losing confidence in the hospital. Conspiracy theories took hold. People are afraid to come in this hospital. Some said when they come here, they will eject them, she's ejected to die. Our nurses be afraid to treat the patient because they don't have the knowledge. In the past few months, 22 healthcare workers, including nurses, staff, and even Sierra Leone's leading health official, Dr. Sheikh Umar Khan, have died here. Now, experts from Doctors Without Borders and the World Health Organization are moving in, training local staff and organizing more secure isolations. But for Arison, his family, and hundreds of others just like him, any progress or hope comes too late. I'm only praying to God, bless my mother and my sister, getting away. Yeah, it will be a different life for me. Any morning, I will go to my father. My father will bless me. He will advise me, but I don't have the person who will advise me. So I'm not glad. So I, I, I want to go home.